Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about iOS 15 Safari. Some really, really cool tricks that you need to know. Uh, first of all, make sure you do go and update iOS 15. It just arrived a couple of days ago and now you can go to your general and then software update and make sure you're updating. I know a lot of people are still on iOS 14.8, so make sure you update to iOS 15. Now, let's look at different hacks and tricks that everyone should know about Safari on iOS 15. First of all, here you go. So I really, I know a lot of people don't like the how the, the bar is at the bottom. I personally love it. So let me go through all the tricks that I am a fan of and that I think you can uh, really enjoy on iOS 15 Safari. So first of all, if I wanna switch between different tabs, all I have to do is just swipe. How cool is that? I really, really love that. So that was trick number one. Number two, so I know not everyone is like me and people may not like the, the bar, address bar at the bottom. Guess what? You can also move it to the top. How? I'm gonna press on this double A um, and then look at this show top address bar. And now look at this, the address bar moved on the top and then now you can use it likes how Safari has always been in iOS 14 and the previous software, but the, the swiping is gone. So that's why I do like to keep my bar uh, at the bottom, but I love the fact that they're giving us more control. So, all right, the next trick I wanna talk about is if we go all the way to the end screen, now look at the, see the, how the design, the colors, uh, if you click on edit, I can change the background image. I can also, if I click on plus icon, I can upload an image from my camera roll or I can choose from these images. Look at this. So let's say when I go with this image right here, I'll click on this and then X out. And now boom, look at that. The image, the background image has changed. All right, the next trick I wanna talk about is when you click on this right here, Safari or Apple has introduced a thing called tab group. So here are all the tabs that I have open in my iOS 15 Safari on this phone. How cool, I can see everything at once. And then there's another thing right here called tab, uh, 32 tabs. So if I click on this, now I'm able to see different tab groups. So for example, all these 32, let's say all these tabs, all these web pages are about work, right? So I can name these, I can create a group like this. I have already created some groups called news and test. So I can create a group of these 32 tabs and name them anything that I like. For example, right here, a new tab group from 32 tab. I do not want to do that, but I love the fact that you can create different tab groups. So imagine uh, you go to gym, you can create a group of tabs about gym. You go to work, you can, you can create a tab group about work, about personal, anything that you like. Super, super cool. All right, let's go back. And the next trick I want to uh, show you is Let's say if I want to search something inside these open web pages, right? So I have no idea what web pages, I have too many pages open, but I want to search something. So I can search between or search these tabs. So if I go back and search for, let's say TikTok, it will find me the exact page that I was doing that search on. How cool is that? So sometimes people have hundreds of tabs open like me. <laughs> uh, and if, if you wanna search among those tabs, between those tabs, you can easily just scroll all the way up right here and then search for that. So another trick that's really, really handy. Now, one other trick I wanna show you is for that we have to go to the settings uh, and then scroll down and look for uh, Safari right here. And then Scroll all the way down. By the way, you can also move your tabs, uh, the, the bar, uh, the bottom or the top from here. So you can definitely uh, do that. Um, what I'm looking for is hide IP address right here. So if you click on this, so Apple has given us this ability now. We can hide our IP address from different trackers, right? So if it's in off position, make sure you turn this to the from trackers. Really, really cool. All right, the last thing I wanna show you is um, open links in the new tab. So when you click on different links, right here, look at this, so open links, uh, you can open links in the background or you can open li links in the uh, new tab. So for example, if I click on a link 
right now let's go back and let's say right here so let's say I want to open uh, this right here the Instagram quick tip if I click on this it's gonna open in a new tab and it's gonna basically move take me away from the tab I was on but if you want to stay on that tab and open the link in, link in the background uh, you can change that setting from here so let me go back and find that where is the open links right here so I can change that right so iOS 15 Safari all these tricks are amazing let me know how you like these uh, ticks and tricks about iOS uh, 15 Safari one other thing before I go I want to point out is now you can add different extensions uh, to your Safari so it's right here inside settings if you click on extensions uh, click on so I have not installed any extension but if I click on more extensions it's gonna take me to my app store and now I will be able to download and install different Safari so for example password managers and different uh, ad blocker there's tons and tons of extension Grammarly that's really helpful to check the grammar so there are different extensions I'll create a separate video about extensions on iPhone uh, 15 Safari in future but I hope you enjoy the iOS 15, the new Safari. I love the new look of Safari browser. I love the bar at the bottom. I know not, not a lot of people are a fan of that, but I personally love it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.